There you go. So, with all the work we've done on the truck, you wouldn't think we'd be doing maintenance today, but we're doing maintenance. So we've already changed our fuel filters. This one here is the lower fuel filter and it's in its own canister. And then right here is the primary fuel filter. And you have to unscrew this canister and the filter sits down inside of it. So we were having that lack of power on the road and we, we tried to change the fuel filters on the road and I couldn't get the top one off. So I changed the bottom one on the road and it didn't change anything about the power. So I assumed it was something with the turbo. Well, yesterday I was able to get that top one off and it was pretty nasty. So at some point in time, I feel we got some bad fuel and replaced that yesterday and drove it. And to be honest with you, it's been so long since I knew how good the truck was supposed to run that I didn't know if it was running right or not. So my dad drove it. He said to him, it feels like it runs fine, but we won't know until we put it under load because even before I changed that fuel filter, when I was empty, it ran okay it just when i was loaded and hit hills i lost the power but we're hoping that that took care of that so now we're getting ready to change the oil and then after we change the oil we're going to try to grease the rear hoods so stay tuned Brand new filter. You always want to make sure that you lube up this gasket before you seal it back, before you screw it back up on there so it seals real good. Some people say fill it up. What I do is I don't fill it up, I just put it on. Then I put them all back in the truck. I start the truck for like three seconds, turn it back off. Start it for like three seconds, turn it back off, and let it cycle through to fill up the. Uh, We'll filter.
after it's finished draining and you put your uh, plug back in, you always want to go under and clean it all up real good. And that way you can check for leaks. Now we'll put the oil back in it. And that's how you do an oil change. Running there. We are picking up this Volkswagen Jetta. It's going up to Indiana. Uh, we were trying to get a truck from Knoxville to Indiana. It was paying $600, but they never got back with us. I thought it was too good to be true. This one's paying like 350 but it's a lot lighter. So we'll get better fuel mileage and, you know, pays decent to go to Indiana because we're going up there anyway. So like I said, we're at a Harper VW in Knoxville, picking this up, going to Indiana. And then we are loading up to going over to New York. Then we'll probably find us a car back to Indiana. And then we've got two that we're going to take down to Texas. So we got a pretty good week booked out. And we'll go from there. But I'm going to finish my paperwork on this thing, get it loaded up, and then I'll get back with you guys. we got the car dropped it was storming raining uh, it was an after hour drop just unloaded across the street parked it put the keys where they told me to left it then we uh made it within about an hour of the yard here in Wakarusa. and we spent the night and then we got up this morning and now we're in Wakarusa. picking up this 22 footer 23 footer back there they're going to Camping World in of Buffalo, New York. Yay. But we're gonna get these loaded up and go. Uh, this is the Wakarusa yard, which is, I guess, the main yard because that's where our office is. Over there, can't see the building, but that's where the lounge is. There's been several people that's done videos on the lounge. I didn't feel like the need to do a video on the lounge when there's been so many of them done already if you don't know what i'm talking about the lounge is something for horizon and wave drivers that the owners built there's free showers there's laundry there's vending machines in there there's tvs couches place you can hang out it's it's a really nice place really nice place so uh fair winds and following seas done a nice video on the lounge so if you are watching my channel, you don't know what the lounge is, you can go check out his channel. Like I said, he done a nice video on the lounge. But we're gonna jump off here. We're gonna get these units loaded up and I'll get back with you. They're all loaded up, guys. Got my extension in there just cause I didn't wanna take the spare tire off. And without my extension in, most of the time you have to take it off if it's got a spare tire on the back because it's real close. This is a 22 footer. 
so as you can tell it sticks over it sticks over about two foot and then you got that spire tire it comes out it's about another foot so i've just got my extension in there to take care of it so sorry just bending these tags here so they don't drag the ground so we are all loaded up and ready to head to New York. 22 and a 23 footer. Probably should have put that one on the back since it's dual axle because I'm gonna get charged more in tolls. Get reimbursed still yet, but hey, still gonna charge me more. But uh, we're gonna get on the road here and uh, we, you know, we changed that fuel filter. Man, I don't know. It's, it seems like it's been so long since my truck ran right that I don't even know if it's running right or not. I think it is. It felt like it ran good yesterday with the car on there. But this is going to be the first load of campers since we've had the turbo put on other than when we went over. Well, okay. We took the campers over after we got the turbo put on and it wasn't running right, but we got that fuel filter changed and it was dirty and I think that was part of the problem. So this will be the first load of campers since we changed the fuel filters and all that with the new turbo now so we'll see how it runs but uh i'll let you guys know and i'll get back with you already dropped the campers over there under that awning i called ahead and let them know i'll be here today then I asked them if there was somewhere i could stay they told me yeah so people drop their campers here and stuff i'm pulled in I've got my extension cord ran, so I don't even have to run my generator tonight for any power. I've got it plugged into theirs. And uh, I asked them about going ahead and unloading the units because I was going to be here in plenty of time. I took my time getting here. So they told me to drop them under that awning. So first thing in the morning, all I got to do is go get them checked in. I don't have to unload them. So we're going to hang out here tonight. We're going to try to get a video up for you guys. I've been slacking between the truck being down and being on vacation. So I'm gonna try to get a video up for y'all. But uh, like I always say, make sure you call your dealerships. Call them ahead of time. Let them know you're coming. And by that case, I get to sleep here. There was a store down the road. I went and used the bathroom and you know, we could have got anything you needed. I got drinks and stuff in the truck. So I got water and all that in the truck. So I didn't need anything, but they did tell me I could stay here, so I knew I didn't have to find anywhere to sleep. Got power on site and everything, so it's working out good. But I'll get back with you guys in the morning. Oh, yeah. We're picking up a truck. Headed back to Michigan City, Indiana. We're picking it up. Like, literally, it's on this same road as this uh, Gander RV. I think it's a mile, maybe less than a mile down the road. No, I didn't know that because in Central Dispatch, it only tells me Hamburg which is Buffalo, but it happened to be just right down the road. So that worked out good. It's paying $600 going back to Indiana. Uh, Michigan City is past Elkhart where I can pick up my new unit, my next units. But I should have no problem getting there because this is only a six and, a half hour, six and a half hour ride. So I should have no problem getting there tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to drop it and just get back to Elkhart and spend the night and get my loads to Texas the next morning. But we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Time. I'm not even sure what time it is, but we're back in Elkhart. We are empty. We uh, delivered those two campers this morning in Buffalo, New York. We literally went one mile down the road, picked up an F-150. It was probably the fat, one of the fastest pickups. I already had my paper printed off. I said, give it to them at the shack. I got the keys, loaded the truck up, and we were gone in no time. Then delivered it in Michigan City, Indiana same day delivery uh, i know a lot of people's been asking me about the money i make off the reloads so i made i made my part after horizon got their part it was 480 dollars on that truck on 490 miles which like i said that's after horizon got their part so i made almost a dollar a mile to come back to indiana after i dropped in new york which is good money uh, we didn't use a whole lot of fuel 
So I'll take that any day of the week to get back over here. We're loading up in the morning here in Elkhart with two going down to Texas uh, around Waco. That's paying, I think, 2800 somewhere around in there. So we are in Elkhart behind the GameStop is where we're staying tonight because we had to find somewhere to plug in. We're mooching power tonight because for the third time now, the fuel line that came on my generator is broke. I have a piece of fuel hose in there. I'm gonna replace it tomorrow. Uh, it broke once before, I just used the same one. I just cut that little piece off, it broke. Put it on, what's done it. This is the third time now, so I'm just gonna replace it. But I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know what was going on. And like I said, we are getting ready for bed here. Gonna watch some TV, it's okay. We can't load until eight o'clock in the morning because we're loading at the uh, Funtown PDI and they're only open eight to four. So we will load in the morning. But until then, I'll catch you guys later.